Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy Erica. Today we have another Red Velvet reaction. We have the Queendom recording behind. Um, yeah, I mean, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to jump right into it because it is kind of a longer video. Definitely love Red Velvet's uh, recording behind videos. One of the best, uh, you know, them and Mama Moo, you know what I'm saying? One of the best vocal um, groups out there, you know, and, you know, uh, Girls' Generation, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, so let's jump into it. Before we get into the video, make sure you all like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Got a lot of stuff coming your way. And, uh, yeah, Red Velvet, Queendom, recording behind. Yuri definitely gets overshadowed a lot in the group, but she she's very solid. She's a glue type member. She's always going to be consistently good. She adds a little bit of sass to the group as well. Oh, I almost just knocked my laptop over. Hold on, y'all know. Shout out to Sugi. She's at New York Fashion Week. Um, I think Peter Doe or Peter Do. I don't know what brand it is, but she's sitting uh front row for a brand. I'm not sure if she's walking at all. I think NCT Geno is walking and opening, but I don't think she is, but Again, Sulo is coming. Y'all know how I feel about that. My ultimate of all ultimates in all of K-pop, she's the one. She is the one. I have a couple ultimates, male and female, but she is the one. And I can't wait to see what we're going to get here. She has all of the tools to be a superstar member of a group, superstar soloist. So let's see what we're going to get. This might have been the first Red Velvet song that I reacted to. Because I think she had orange hair. Bing, bing. Come on now. 
She has such an opera-ish, opera-ish tone, but with the R&B tint to it, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, like the end of that, that, uh, that little like how she's side to side with the vocal a little. It's so operaish, but has some soul to it as well. Come on now. Mmm, told you that soul. She got that R and B on her, I'm telling you. She, you don't have to fix your hair that much, please. Just exit the booth. She's so adorable. Okay, Irene. <laughs> Irene. Irene is probably. Somebody asked me the other day if they what I thought Irene's real personality was because I guess I feel like there's been a lot of debate about that. I feel like Irene is probably really, really quirky and funny. Like almost like a black pink Jisoo, like that like visual that you really don't expect to be to have so much like brightness to her. I feel like she really does, but I feel like because of the scrutiny that she's been getting lately, we are kind of robbed of getting that from her, which is understandably she probably doesn't want to be as outspoken. But I feel like she has such a great personality. Um, what I think, you know what I mean, that we just kind of don't get to see just because there are so many eyes on her at all times. But she definitely seems a lot more silly and more quirky than we probably really get to see. Mm, but the, man, they all really have such good vocals. Mm. 
You guys told me Joy's not a sub vocalist anymore. She's got an official, like, she's part of the vocal line. They all are now, I think, right? She should be part of the vocal line because she has a beautiful voice. She's nailing it. Okay, now. <laughs> Did you put auto tune on your neck? <laughs> she was nailing those though. We... I'm not gonna lie, this wasn't my favorite era by them, but maybe it's because it was my introduction to them.
Man, I've, they probably been there for so long. She's so adorable. She's everything, bro. <laughs> She's a monster vocalist. Monster. Anytime you have someone like John Legend praising your vocals, you're a monster vocalist. I would, I would never shut up if I sang like her. Never. Beautiful. She just went off. Mm. Oh, 
It's crazy how they keep doing the choreography during the whole recording session, man. The dedication is crazy. I really think Irene is is way more sweet than we know just because she just gets a bad rep for being pretty and quiet, but I feel like she really does have a nice caring personality. It's adorable how Wendy is like giving her tips on her English. <laughs> They're hilarious. <laughs> so 
So that was Red Velvet with the Queendom recording behind. Um, they're definitely one of the groups that I really get a real family vibe from, you know, a band of sisters. Um, especially since I feel like they all like kind of raised Yeri, you know, when she joined the group. Um, I, I, I don't know, it's just, it's so refreshing to see groups like this, you know, how they interact on a daily basis. Obviously, we only see bits and pieces, but, you know, like I said, we, we just see like small little glimpses of stuff and you know mistakes that idols make and stuff like that but a lot of these idols are you know you can't expect every single idol to be sweet and you know you know have an amazing personality but i really do think more of these idols do have um you know sweet natures you know more than we would even know you know what i'm saying and i think irene is definitely one of them um yeah i, I again i always love everything red velvet when it comes to them really showing their craft and their behind the scenes and stuff like that i really do love that so definitely my favorite girl group out so far you know what i'm saying so before you all go make sure you all like comment subscribe to your post notifications on got a lot of stuff coming your way and uh yeah till next time